supreme. What's up guys, it's KC from Internet Money back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a chord secret that you can use in FL Studio. This is a new technique that I've never showed before so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys get something out of this video and learn something new. So that being said, let's get right to it. Alright, so I got the Korg M1 VST opened up with just a piano preset. And we're going to go to the piano roll for this instrument. We're going to go up to the top left of the piano roll and we're going to click this drop down arrow. We're going to go to view we're going to go to scale highlighting so this is where we're going to choose which scale that we want to build our chord progression in um, i encourage you to learn and experiment with all different scales just to expand your knowledge but to be honest the scales that you're going to use the most often and the most frequently is going to be the minor natural aeolian or the major scale so for this video i'm just going to go with minor natural aeolian i'm going to right click it so this little menu will stay up because now we need to choose which key we want to build our chord progression in now you can choose whatever key you want it really doesn't matter this trick's going to work in any of the keys so let's just go with e so now in the piano roll as you can see it's highlighted the notes of the e minor scale the lighter notes are the notes that fall within the scale and the darker notes are the notes that don't so now that we've done that we have a visual guide and reference for our scale so now we're going to go up here to the stamp tool in FL Studio 20, it's right here. It's a circle with three lines through it. If you're using an older version of FL Studio, it falls within this drop down menu and it's called something different in the older versions, but it's still there regardless. So we're gonna open up this stamp tool and we're gonna go to this menu that's called chords. So basically these are stamps for different chord shapes that we can place into the piano roll. It's got tons of different chords like major, minor, seventh, ninth, it's got a tab with some advanced chords that are, you know, crazy complex chords. Um, so, you know, if you don't know music theory, this could be a useful tool so you can learn some chords or use some chords that you wouldn't otherwise know. And if you do know some music theory, this can help you expand your knowledge of chords so that you have some new chords in your arsenal to pull from. So for this video, let's just build some seventh chords. We're in a minor scale, so let's go with minor. So now we're in the E minor scale, so we can build chords on any of the notes that fall on the scale, pretty much. I mean, some of the chords are not going to sound good, but I'm just going to start placing some chords. Let's do a seventh chord there, seventh chord there. Let's change it. Let's try a major seventh. Um, we could do like right here. And then let's try a ninth chord. We can put right here. Okay, so now we have a four chord progression that I've stamped in using the tool. Here's the problem with this technique some of the notes are not falling within the scale that we chose even though we place the chords on the root notes that fall within this scale the rest of the notes of the chords don't necessarily fall within these highlighted notes so if we listen to it it's not going to sound very good it's just all over the place and not what we're looking for so this is where the technique that I'm going to show you comes in. First of all, when we place these chord stamps, it groups these notes together and we don't want that to happen. As you can see, if I try to move a note, it moves the whole chord. We don't want that. So we're going to do control A and we're going to do alt G and that'll ungroup them so that we can move the notes freely again. Okay. So now that we've done that, what we're going to want to do is do control A to select everything again. And we're going to do alt and K. And that'll bring up this menu here that's a limiter and transposer for the piano roll. Um, usually when I use this, it's because I'm moving an 808 pattern to a kick pattern. And I want all the notes to snap back to C5 so that, you know, they're not all over the place for a kick. But in this case, how we're going to use it is we're going to choose which scale that we chose before. So let's set it to E and let's set it to minor natural aeolian. And basically what's happening is it's taking the notes that we've stamped into the piano roll and it's forcing them to snap to that scale. So it's taking all the notes that were out of the scale and it's forcing them to fall within the scale. So now you can see that the, the notes have been moved. When we listen back, it's going to sound much better. So just like that, you can use this chord stamp tool to place the type of chords that you want to use, and then you can just snap it to that scale. So let's do another example, just so I can show you that it works in different instances. So this time, let's change our scale highlighting. 
we're gonna leave it in minor and let's just choose G sharp so now the G sharp minor notes are highlighted from that scale so next we're gonna go back to our chord stamps let's just do some minor chords we don't even need to do sevenths and let's see we're in G sharp so let's just mess around with this let's try putting one there let's put one here let's put one here and let's put one here and let's listen back to that so as you can see it doesn't sound ideal let's do the same technique let's do alt k make sure we set our scale to g sharp and it moves all the notes as you can see press accept and now let's listen to it and let's move it down an octave too and now it sounds correct all right let's try one more example let's change our scale to let's try a major scale why not let's try e major all right now let's try some ninth chords and let's just start stamping them around let's try major seventh wait i forgot which scale we're in again e um let's try let's try a more advanced chord let's try m7 um, and let's just do that twice let's listen to this and move it down an octave first all right now let's do the same technique let's switch this to major which is all the way down here off screen and then E and now let's move the notes let's see what it sounds like now you know and then from there you have a chord progression that you can build upon you can let's ungroup them because they got grouped again you know you can mess with the different inversions of the chords by moving things around like this and it'll make it sound different so yeah now that you know this technique you can really experiment and build some really cool chord progressions if you've been stuck with making loops and not been able to make melodies or chord progressions this trick should help you out a lot so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys in the next one leave a like leave a comment and let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.